Okay, so we started our live, so it, it's my first time uh, starting doing live stream after I reached more than uh, 100,000 subscribers, right? So last time I did it, now there, there is a zero there, so I, I see nobody's joining now. But yeah, um, so uh, for you guys who watch this live stream on the repeat, let me see whether it's, uh, whether it's actually live on my channel. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so let's start, guys. So um, today we, I'm going to be talking about how to learn. Actually, I forgot. I need to relay, rename this live stream. Let me stop it and start it again. Let me stop it and start. Okay, 23 people. Okay, I cannot stop it. I need to edit the name of this live stream. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to learn Korean and Chinese, just uh, my three-step formula. Uh, we're going to be talking about, I see there are a lot, lots of Russian people here. Uh, for Russian people, I have a Russian channel. Uh, this channel is mostly for all around the world, so this is why I'm speaking English. So, uh, but those, th there are many Russian people who do understand English, so I think it's okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to be talking about this three-step formula for learning Korean. By the way, and Chinese as well, because it's the same structure, the same system. For those of you who don't know, because for those of you who are not subscribed uh, to my weekly email newsletter, uh, I have a weekly Chinese and Korean master class. Those are separate ones. So weekly Chinese and Korean master class. Uh, you can go to uh, Victor. I, I, I guess you'll see it. I'm not sure. But yeah, so Victor Talking Academy. Victor. Victor Talking. Sorry. My handwriting, Victor Talking, and then Academy, Victor Talking uh, Academy dot com slash masterclass slash masterclass. I'm not sure whether you can understand my handwriting, but Victor Talking Academy dot com slash masterclass probably is reversed. I'm not sure, <laughs> but you can hear what I say, right? So Victor Talking Academy dot com slash masterclass. Uh, this masterclass is my most, uh, basically, uh, the, the, the program which is the most popular one uh, right now because there are like so many people enrolling and stuff and uh, learning Korean is the most affordable one. Uh, it's for those who don't know what my coaching is all about and they just want to try it and then uh, just uh, see how I coach in general, right? So go to, I'm not sure whether it's reversed or not, Victor Talking Academy. You look Korean, bro. <laughs> so yeah, victortalkingacademies.com uh, slash masterclass. victortalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. If you're learning Chinese, you can go to victortalkingacademy.com slash Chinese masterclass. victortalkingacademy.com slash Chinese masterclass. So these are weekly Chinese masterclasses. They are um, basically uh, ev every Saturday or Friday, depending on your time zone. Uh, it really depends. So, but it's 10 p.m. EST on Friday, on Saturday. So uh, again, depending on whether it's Chinese or Korean, so go there, check it out. And uh, for Chinese, we, get, we are speaking Chinese there. For Korean, we are focused on learning Korean grammar, Korean vocabulary, we're going through textbooks and stuff. But uh, it's just a, a shout out to my masterclass, right? So, but uh, today I'm gonna be talking about the real content, uh, three steps to master any language. I've been learning with, uh, I've been uh, working with eight languages so far. So. Uh, you might have seen me mention that I, I've got clients from 22 countries from all around the world. I say the number 22, but the number is actually always growing. If you scroll back, if you watch my old videos, I'm saying like clients from six countries and like seven countries, and like eight countries, now it's 22. So I don't think it's, it actually matters uh, from how many countries my clients come from. Uh, but I, I, I'm just trying to show you that these are the people from all around the world. Those people are all from all around the world. And I've been uh, working with languages like German, Vietnamese, languages that I don't even speak, Spanish. Uh, I've been uh, coaching people to achieve conversational levels in those languages. And there is just uh, one simple framework that I'm always using to uh, learn, any, to, to coach any language, to learn any language. So you can use it for free here in this live stream. Uh, you can use it absolutely for free, right? So I'm not, uh, it's, it's absolutely open. So you don't have to enroll into my coaching if you don't want to, but you can just literally use this value. But I would recommend you to enroll into any kind of coaching 
any kind of class, any kind of weekly, uh, weekly gathering where you can speak, you can learn new grammar, you can practice Korean or Chinese or any other foreign language. For those of you guys who are learning for free by themselves, it's the common mistake. You're just you're viewing language like a hobby which is not life-changing, it, it will not like help you to uh, live a better life socially or financially. Uh, and you just, for those of you who view it as a hobby, I want you to avoid this mistake uh, because um, a language has actually changed lives. And if you, once you start taking it, uh, once you start taking it seriously, uh, this is when your progress just goes up, you start investing your time and money into it, and this is when it actually, because I myself, I mean, uh, to learn Chinese and Korean, people ask me how I did it, uh, so for me, right, so I myself, I went through at least six online and offline courses, six full courses, like a, like a few months each, and I did all my self-study in between those courses, and this is where, we, this is when self-study actually makes sense, because uh, you, if you just self-study by yourself without any system, without any teacher, without any guidance, without any support system, it's just a waste of time. But if you are studying with the teacher, if you are studying uh, having a support system, uh, if you have a clear guideline, if the person who guides you actually uh, reached for uh, certain good levels in foreign languages and also uh, helped other people to do so, this is where you are actually using a step-by-step -step process. So. Uh, don't be stingy with your time and money. This is what I'm trying to say. Doesn't matter whether it's my program or other programs because I'm, I'm, I'm practicing what I'm preaching, guys. I'm practicing what I'm preaching. So uh, I tried to learn many languages, but I got burned out. Any tips on how to get back to... So I, I, in your first comment, I can, in your first uh, words, I can see that I tried to learn many languages. That what, this is what you said, right? So this was the mistake. You have to... You need to uh, focus on one language at a time, guys. Uh, just one language. So... For me, if, you, if you're learning Chinese and Korean, put just pick one language, pick one language, check out my new masterclass where we have a few spots left because uh, I, I'm working with every single person on that masterclass. We read, we speak. Uh, so if you want to apply, go to victorytalkingacademy.com slash masterclass for Korean or victorytalkingacademy.com slash Chinese masterclass. So I do this live because nobody knows about it. Uh, if they're not in my email list. So if you're not in my e weekly email newsletter, you have no idea about it because it's an absolute new thing. I launched it just a, probably like a month ago, like as a test group, and I'm gonna be doing it only for uh, another five to six months. So if you're enrolling, keep in mind it's not forever. It's a very, very low price, guys. It's like 10 times lower than I used to charge. So, uh, and I'm working in a pretty small group. So if you want to try it, you can try it. All right, so. Um, yeah, uh, let's start with the three-step process, guys. Let's start with the three-step process for learning any language. Um, do you read books in foreign languages? Yes, I do. What languages do you use like uh, for self-enjoyment reading? Yeah, I, I'm mostly reading in English, but I can read in Korean and Chinese and uh, yeah, and I'm learning Japanese as well. So if textbooks count, I, I also read in Japanese. But um, all right, so let's start with three-step process for learning any foreign language. You need to know that. Uh, I want you to actually take it seriously. Imagine that you paid money for this live stream. Imagine that you paid for this live stream because it's free. Like all oh, these pictures, just just like that YouTube guys uh, just just trying to tries to share with us his knowledge, right? Uh, you're not taking it seriously. Most of you won't take it seriously, guys. But right, but I'm gonna give you the information that my clients uh, uh, actually pay me for and that they actually apply it. Because if you pay it, if you invest in it, you actually apply it, right? But this one is for free, so I want you to imagine that you paid for it, right? So because I'm not doing it very often. Please pay attention, take pen and paper. It's very serious. What I'm gonna be sharing with you, um, my top clients actually use this formula to achieve conversational levels. If you are curious about my track record, my testimonials, you can go to victorytalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. You can go to... Uh, victortalkingacademy.com slash Korean. You can go to victortalking.com. You can see those testimonials, written testimonials, video testimonials. People ask, people tell me, hey, Victor, I just had a 90-minute conversation in Chinese. Uh, I, like, your program changed my life, right? So basically, this is uh, what actually works in real life. Most people, by the way, I'm not saying that every single person who enrolls into my program becomes like conversational fluent, right? But what I'm saying is that uh, it really depends on you. I'm giving you the best tools. Many people do achieve conversational levels and or if they enroll conversational, they achieve fluent levels in Chinese or Korean. So take it very seriously. All right, let's start with the three-step process. The first step that you need to do, guys, the very first step that you need to do 
is you need to find a very famous series of textbooks uh, for learning the language you're, you, uh, you're uh, considering on focusing on right now, right? So if it's Vietnamese, for example, if it's, um, it should be the series of textbooks from some famous institution, famous university. This series of textbooks should be a golden standard for learning this language. I'll explain why. So many people like hear textbooks are like, turn off this live stream. <laughs> so this guy's just talking like traditional methods, traditional school. I'm sick of this stuff. Uh, textbooks didn't work for me. Guys, I'm not telling you to go back to school to like where they ask you to cram the textbook to prepare for the exam. Uh, I'm, I'm telling another, I'm about nothing. Textbook is just a source of information, right? I'm not telling you about traditional methods. I have my own approach on how to work with a textbook. There are two kinds of pr approaches. For those of you who are in my accelerated trading, hundreds of people went through it. There is a smart learning system and there is a speed learning system, right? So smart learning and speed learning, those are the approaches that we take to learn with the textbook. So textbook is the best source of information. And we're talking not just with the textbook, not just like master Korean in 90 days type of, type of bullshit, right? We're working with a series of, what does it mean series of textbooks? Who knows? Who knows? Like put me, put, put it in comments. What does it mean uh, series of textbooks? Like how do you distinguish whether it's a series of textbooks or not the series of textbooks? Put it in comments, I'll wait for a minute. What does it mean? Why do we work with a series of textbooks? Why do we work with a series of textbooks? Answer this question for me. For those of you who actually who are familiar with my approach, you can see there are textbooks here, right? Some of them are in the series, right? So, bro, you gotta learn a region for content. That's great. <laughs> All right, guys, tell me what does it mean? The series. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm looking at the chat. So, let me know what does it mean and why do we work with this series of textbooks? How do you distinguish? Because you go to a bookstore, right? You're like, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be using Victor's advice on how to master, let's say, I don't know, Spanish, right? You're like, I want to become fluent in Spanish using Victor's advice. How do you distinguish between a textbook and a series of textbooks? When a new video coming out, really soon. Really soon, guys, I'm working on it. How do you distinguish? How do you distinguish whether it's a series of textbooks? <laughs> Other people are just like, no answer. Let me know, guys. Like, what is the what is the difference? Why do we use a series of textbooks? Why do we do it? Because you can buy a textbook. You can be like, learn Korean in ninety days, or uh, ten thousand, uh, five thousand most frequent most frequent. Uh, the books go together. Okay, like Spanish one, two, and three. Okay, foundation. Okay, yes. Okay, proven information. Okay, so I see right answers here. Okay, the textbook. I, are your textbook different? I, I'm working with series of textbooks for all languages. Integrate Korean textbook series, I've never heard of it. Um, so, all right, let me answer the question, guys. So basically, series of textbooks is structured in a way that, for example, there is level one, right, in the language. A1, A2, then level two is B1, B2, intermediate level. Advanced levels like C1, C2, right? So basically, the series of textbooks is supposed to bring you from complete zero without knowing anything. Let's, if you're talking about Korean, it's your complete zero, like you don't know alphabet. And it, it's supposed to bring you from that level to the level where, where you can read news in Korean and watch news in Korean and talk in corporate settings, right? So basically, uh, the, the textbook series contains enough information so that you can become fluent in the language. Fluent in the language. People are like, you can't become fluent in textbook. Dude, you learn with textbooks, you go out and practice with people, and you go out and like you talk for hours, you talk Korean for hours, you, you watch K-dramas and stuff. On top of learning with textbooks, you become fluent as hell, man. Like, so textbooks is the best thing, okay? It's structured, useful source of information according to the language, it could be any language, proved by some famous institutions, by people who actually use them. Yes. So basically, for example, there are a lot of foreigners coming to Korea to learn Korean, right? And you go, you go to universities like Yonsei, Sugang University, they have their own series of textbooks and they're structured in a way so that you can pass, let's say, topic five or topic six, the highest level of proficiency in Korean language. And believe me, guys, it's very difficult. Not everybody who has like topic five or six, not everybody is completely like fluent in Korean, but they are very good in it. Like they're very good at understanding, reading, writing Korean, understanding professional Korean and stuff. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you actually want to uh, just forget the word textbook, right? Like if you want to get the best source of information, 
This is the textbook, right? So uh, you need to think of it not as a textbook, but as the best source of information for you. And it's another question on how you, of how you actually work with this series of textbooks so that you keep, keep it fun, keep it chill, you memorize a lot of stuff. I have a lot of uh, techniques in my arsenal, like how to use a subconscious mind, how to use pre-testing, how to use uh, speed, speed learning, smart learning. So but all those uh, things, all the pattern recognition techniques, right? So how do you memorize faster? So basically, you are working with a series of textbooks. So again, like I said, take this live like you paid for it. So the first advice that I want you to actually use practically, no matter what is the language you're learning, Korean, Chinese, if you're learning Korean, Chinese, check out my master class. Like I said, we have a few spots left. Go to victorytalkingacademy.com slash Chinese masterclass slash Chinese or victorytalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. Actually, I'm not sure whether I can actually edit this live stream so that I can put those links below it. Uh, if it's live, I'm not sure that I can do it. But yeah, so go to those, uh, go to my website and, um, and uh, okay, test, so upcoming. Okay, I'm not sure, I'm not, I cannot edit this. I, I'll put the links after it, guys. I'll put the links after it. But you can go to victorytalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. For, the, for both Chinese and Korean, description is the same victortalkingacademy.com slash master. I wasn't prepared. I was like, man, I need to do this live because I, I need to share this thing. So for free, right? So take, go to a bookstore or go online and try to search. Uh, I have one client on my Vietnamese learning program and they ask like 80 to 90 teachers uh, whether they're using series of textbooks and they said, no, we're using our own like PPTs, materials, random videos. And I'm like, and only one teacher used the best series of textbooks for learning Vietnamese, right? So you can ask teachers what textbooks they are using. You can ask teachers online, right? All right, so uh, basically this is the first tip. What is the second tip? Find a teacher or a coach. Find a teacher or a coach, right? Don't learn by yourself, guys. Don't learn by yourself. I will give you an example. Okay, you can, you can just... If you take a language very serious, let's let's imagine that you're actually taking it extremely seriously. I believe that you are. You want to, let's say you want to speak Chinese in one year from now or Korean in one year from now. You want to speak it on a level that you can hold a one hour conversation with a person. And let's say you don't have opportunity to come to a country even, right? So uh, let's say you want to have a one hour conversation with a native speaker in one hour from, in, in one year from now, right? One hour conversation in one year. Let's uh, consider two approaches. The first approach that you're just learning by yourself. Of course, like you bought some video course, you're using some random Duolingo app, uh, you're watching YouTube videos, you're watching dramas, you're like trying to create your own sort of speaking chemistry for learning a language and stuff, right? And then, um, and then year goes by and then you're like, I'm still a beginner, right? It's the probability of, of it happening is 90 plus, like 99%. Let's say in the situation B, you find a teacher online, the best teacher who is working with a series of textbooks, uh, who is working with, let's say, um, uh, professional materials for, for teaching this language. I mean, like series of textbooks, right? Who, who actually has an experience of bringing students at least to a conversational intermediate level. And they know what you need to do in order to achieve a conversational level in one year. Let's say you come to that person and then you start having classes once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, the more the better. One hour classes, one hour and a half, like every single day or like every other day, right? One year from now, you finished three to four textbooks or even five. Some people can finish like six textbooks, right? In this period of time. Man, you can achieve advanced level in Chinese without going to a country. All right? Just imagine two cases like, okay, so you, you, you might be skeptical about getting a teacher, getting a coach, considering some of my programs, right? You, you might be skeptical about it. But just imagine the hypothetical situation. What do you feel will happen in one year? Just pro, uh, there, there, is a, there is a method called regression, right? Regressional analysis in, uh, in um, mathematics, right? So uh, regressional analysis. So what it does is that it actually, it actually just prolongs the ongoing trend. So you're looking at the past information, what happened in the past, and you're like, okay, so based on what happened in the past, this is what will happen in the future. This is called regressional analysis, right? So you're basically building an equation based on the past information, right? So uh, it's used in economics. I have an economic, um, I'm, I have MBA from China. 
um, I kind of used to study economics a lot and uh, we used to use this regressional analysis a lot, right? I'm not sure whether it's called regression or regressional in English, but anyways. So, and just imagine like, what is the result you achieved up till now? For, let's say you studied for one month. Let's say you studied for three months with Korean, Chinese or any other language. What is the result that you achieved up until now? And what is the result? Just to give you guys a perspective. So I have a client, his name is Sean. He's from Canada. He studied on my program for uh, the past four months. He studied how many? 300 hours, dude. 300 hours. He finished three textbooks. He finished three textbooks from the best university for learning Chinese in the world, from Beijing University. He can speak Chinese. He watches TV show now. He can hold the basic conversation. 300 hours. Can you imagine doing that by yourself without any guidance on pronunciation, on tones, on usage of characters, on how to memorize characters faster? He, can, he knows hundreds of characters, he can read pages in Chinese, and this is what, I'm not saying that only my program, like my program, I, to be honest, I think the approach is the best in the world, if you don't take universities, I mean online, I mean online. So. Uh, universities are really good. Uh, in terms of the systematic approach, I think it's the best. But you may, like imagine studying 300 hours. How much motivation should you have? How much support system should you have so that you study every single day, right? How much support system should you have to practice that much, right? And then uh, basically, no matter what question you ask, it basically the person can answer them. Uh, like, of course, they're not fluent, but imagine 300 hours. And so, uh, person A just studies for, with like some unsystematic methods and person B gets a teacher, gets a coach uh, who actually can help them. Most teachers don't work, guys. It's sad to, to actually say, I myself have teachers in my team. I used to train teachers on how to teach students and basically I teach them uh, the, the, the best principles of, the, of learning foreign languages in the world, right? So, all right, so this is advice number two. The first advice series of textbooks. Second, getting a teacher, no matter where you are, no matter um, what you're doing, right? So basically, let me check some comments here. Uh, how did you develop such a strong work ethic, uh, ethic? Hello from Uzbekistan. Russian schools live to wish for the best. And you have to get some infos how to work with different materials. Okay, guys, so, and so another thing, Another thing I would like to mention is step number three. So step number one, get a series of proven textbooks from a best university, from the best institution. For Korean, on my program, we're working with Yonsei University textbook. If you want to get behind the scenes, I'm sharing with you. So Yonsei Korean, it's called Yonsei Korean, right? For Chinese, we work with Han Yu Jiao Chang. So Han Yu Jiao Chang. So if you, somebody knows it, we can put it in the chat. We're working with the best series of textbooks, right? And for spoken Chinese, we work with the spoken Chinese series of Texas from Beijing University again. Can you speak German? No, I can't, unfortunately. So um, what is the step number three? What is the step number three? So you have a teacher, you have a textbook. What do you need to do? What is the next step? You need to start tracking your time and tracking your progress. So basically, you create an Excel spreadsheet. On the left, you put date. On the right, you put what? You put how many minutes you study. So every single time when you study, what you do is that you put your timer on, on your phone. It's called stopwatch. You put your stopwatch. If you study for 37 minutes, you put it there. And you try to keep your average of studying every day for 60 to 90 minutes is the best. 90 minutes is absolutely amazing. I, I call those people learning machines. So that guy who's uh, Sean, uh, who studied for 300 hours, he studies 90 minutes a day. 90, so one hour and a half a day, every single day, including classes time, right? So um, basically, uh, the best, if you, if you want to become a complete learning machine, you study for one hour and a half. If you want to make it very sustainable and, and master the language during the year, you can study for 40 minutes. Uh, if you want to be uh, kind of in the middle, like pretty, like it, it really also depends on your uh, personal uh, speed of learning, right? One hour is also very good. It's also very good. So um, basically, I'm really happy to see you guys from Germany, Deutschland. I'm very happy to see you guys. I uh, actually also have a program for German. We also use the best series of textbooks in the world. Uh, we have the, we're working with the best teacher as well. Um, so basically, uh, what I'm trying to say, so thir third step is your accountability tracking system, right? Time tracking system. 
first column is date, the second column is how many minutes you studied, and the next column, what is the next column, is uh, it's called weekly missions. Weekly missions is every single week, my program, my clients, every single week, they go out or they jump on apps like Hello Talk and they practice with natives and they write this diary. I practice the language for, for one minute. I did the self-introduction, right? I practice the language for five minutes. For those of you guys who joined, if you want to enroll into my very, very, very open and affordable right now, um, weekly Korean masterclass, you can go to victorytalkingacademy.com slash Korean. It's not a video course, it's not some fake thing, it's me personally just here, right here, in front of the computer coaching you in groups uh, teaching you Korean. So if you want to check it out, you can check out the page um, victorytalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. Why should you do it now? It's because I won't do it forever. The price is very low for me, to be honest, to, do, to be doing it for a long time. So I do it just as a test script so that more people can, people can try it, can try my best approach. And uh, basically, I will do it for another uh, five to six months. And I am just announcing it here because it's uh, many people who couldn't enroll into my coaching. Now you, like from all countries, from all around the world, you can do it. Uh, so victortalkingacademy.com slash masterclass for Korean and victorytalkingacademy.com slash Chinese masterclass for Chinese. If somebody can put links in the chat or like write something, I would appreciate it as well because I haven't prepared for this live stream. I don't have links here in the description just yet, but I'll do it. So time tracking system, right? Um, time tracking system. You need to get, um, you need to track your time every single day. Even if you don't study, you put zero and you track your average for a week, for a month, every single day you look at your average and you say, okay, so I study, let's say, 20 minutes a day on average. Will I get a really good result in one year from now? Probably not. I need to study, let's say, one hour a day at least to actually get some visible result. Three things you need to do. Once again, very realistic approach, nothing, no magic pill, but guess what? If you use it, it is a magic pill. Series of textbooks. What is your goal for the next six months after this live stream? Imagine again, like I said, that you paid me for this live stream, paid me a lot of money and that you're, you need to actually, because right now you're investing your time in watching this, imagine that your time is actually money, right? So actually do the steps that I'm telling you. Go to a bookstore, go online, get the series of textbooks, the best, from the best universities, watch reviews on Reddit, on Quora, ask what is the best text, series of textbooks in Japanese, for learning Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and so on and so forth, right? So this is the first step. Second step, go to different websites. I mean, I'm not promoting them. They contacted me uh, for promoting. I didn't promote them. I talk it properly. Uh, you can uh, go to victortalking.com, uh, register for my coaching, see whether you, whether you can apply or not. Um, check, like I'm talking, I'm not talking only about my stuff, right? I'm talking about every, you need to invest in yourself, guys. I'm not sure, I, it doesn't matter. I have enough people enrolled into my programs. It doesn't matter whether it's me or other program, right? So basically, uh, you need to start investing in yourself. Get a teacher, get a coach, enroll into group coaching, online, offline, find, find classes uh, near you, right? So I have clients, people are like, hey, Victor, I'm logging on your program. Is it okay if I go take like offline classes near me? Uh, I'm like, sure, you need, to, you need to go into run there, dude. Like you need to run there. Do you know how it became like completely uh, conversational in Japanese in like literally a matter of months? What I did here is that I went to Seoul and I found the most popular Hagwon, Hagwon uh, for uh, Hagwon's like school, language school for learning Japanese. And Japanese teacher were, were like was teaching there and they were only using uh, Japanese for teaching. And this is how my listening in Japanese just went straight up. And now I'm having classes only in Japanese for learning Japanese, right? So this is what I'm telling you. Invest in yourself. Actually, invest your time, invest your money. Study, study, study with a series of textbooks. In three months from now, watch this live stream and get, so write this down. Three months, I need to finish two textbooks for learning this language. Two textbooks from this, uh, from this series of textbooks for learning this language. Two textbooks, at least, two to three textbooks, right? Goal number one, in six months, I need to, I need to finish four to six textbooks. Four to six textbooks, right? With the teacher, I need to go out and practice this language as much as I can with natives. Weekly missions, the third column in uh, Excel spreadsheet, write down how many minutes you practice what you did and what you did to not to switch to English. Uh, I'm launching a new course, some digital course on how to actually become uh, fluent in the language because so many people, they, uh, they can become conversational fluent even when having a huge knowledge bank. Like they, they went through like five textbooks and they still can't speak, right? So there, there are people like this. 
So I'm also learned, there are also a bunch of techniques you can, you can be using to become conversational with limited vocabulary. And uh, so, and practice the language. Go finish those textbooks, invest hundreds of hours, and in one year from now, you'll be speaking the language. You'll be actually speaking. So three tips, like I said. Uh, all right, guys, so let me answer a few questions. If you have any questions, I'll answer them in the chat here. Uh, while you're writing your questions, once again, quick reminder, go to uh, victortalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. victortalkingacademy.com slash masterclass for Korean, right? On, and for Chinese weekly masterclass, 10 p.m. EST every week uh, is victortalkingacademy.com slash Chinese masterclass, right? How did you develop such a strong work ethic? So I think uh, a very strong work ethic really comes down from um, just being in difficult situations in life, right? So I, I've been, I was working in, a Korean, in Korean companies for years and I didn't like the working environment there. And just basically being in difficult situations, like whenever you're in a difficult situation, I think uh, many people just really develop a very strong work ethic. So uh, I would say just push yourself all the time. Uh, Victor, nice one. Okay, so... Any questions, guys? I'll close this live stream in a few minutes. We have just a few minutes. I'll answer all of your questions. I'm not doing it often. You can see what is the la when is the last time I did it? One year ago, right? So probably I'll see you in a year on the live. So uh, let me know what questions you have. Let me know. It's my first time. I Last time I did live stream, I had like 30,000 subscribers or something or 80,000. Now it's like 200, 212, 20,000 or something, 218,000. So... What are your questions? Let me know. Do you have any questions or not? Because I'm going to be closing it in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so I'm really happy uh, to actually share this information with you guys. Let me know uh, how you improve on speaking. It's hard to form sense of subconsciously when someone asks you a question. Any plan to study Thai language? Uh, not yet. I'm not going to be studying uh, Thai language right now. As for now, so, because I'm focusing on Japanese. Uh, so for speaking, I'll give you a couple of advice. You probably have answered already, but how many languages do you speak? I speak five, fluent in four. Fluent in four, which means I can do a business presentation in four languages with no preparation. I can sell you supercapacitors in Korean, Chinese, Russian, and English. So many people, they don't even know what is supercapacitor. But is having a language that partner... Yeah, having a language partner, I mean, you can find them. Um, I have no prior experience with languages. I have exams every quarter up until September. Should I start intensive program up to my exams? You can start a master class, like I said. Uh, master class it requires you literally just like a couple hours a week to participate. So one hour is uh, homework, one hour is just participating in this master class. Depends on what language you're learning, if it's Chinese or Korean. You can, I would recommend to start as quickly as possible because here's the thing. Always something will come up, guys. Something will come up. Like I have a work situation, I have exams, I have a personalized situation. Something will always come up, guys. If you don't start now, you'll start never. You'll never start. Uh, so for improving your speaking, guys, one thing I would like to tell you, one advice is be more aggressive with speaking and try not to switch to English for as long as you can. There are a few techniques you can use not to switch to English. One of the very basic ones is you pull out your phone and you translate using your phone, right? You translate. You translate sentences, you translate words that you want to say. Um, another thing is you ask in this language what does it mean so that people can explain it to you. Did you ever fear uh, a bit when practicing for language? Of course, of course, it's normal. Do you learn languages fast or is it rather prolonged for you? It depends on my life situation. So for example, if I need to master language as quickly as possible, like Korean, I, have, I didn't have any advantage of, for mas of mastering it. And then I, need, I wanted to move to Korea and I wanted to find work in Korea. So during that time, I took a very intensive approach and I started speaking within like a few months, within half a year. So uh, although I was like very on and off with it for a year before it, and I had like very weak knowledge. And uh, yeah, so it really depends on, your, on my life situation, I guess, like on my goals. 
hyperpolyglots. Uh, I'm not sure, like, because uh, there, are, there are people, there, I'm, I, I, don't, I think languages is a part of your life, it's a very important upgrade to your life, but there are people, they are learning languages full-time. I'm not a full-time language learner, and I'm not spending like eight hours a day learning like Spanish, Italian, and French, right? So I uh, just learned one couple languages that I like, and uh, I think that it's very important that you choose the language that you like and learn it because it will give you upgrade to your life, to your personality, to your social life, personal life, financial life. Uh, but you don't have to learn it full time like hyper polyglots do. Uh, when you talk about creating a language vacuum, isolation, where are you forced to speak Mandarin? Does this include going to a Chinese restaurant or do you have to move a country? So always guys, like... I always, every, to every single person, I always ask them, why don't you move to Korea? Why don't you come to Korea? Why don't you come to China? Well, yeah, I always ask this question. You need, to go, you need to create plans for going to that country. If you have my 12 commandments, if you don't have them, go to victortalking.com. It's a free five-page PDF. I think uh, one of the 12 commandments, create actual plans of going to a country. 12 commandments for mastering any language on a conversational level in 12 weeks. Actually, like become conversational in the language in 12 weeks, right? So one of the 12 commandments is going to a country, create plans for going to a country. It's always the best. It's always the best. Second best choice is just find friends or people where you're at. Your advice about learning Korean from textbooks really helped me. Thank you so much for that. That's great. That's great. Yonsei Korean, guys. Yonsei, if you want to join my masterclass, go to victortalking.com. Oh, sorry. victortalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. It's very, very low investment, guys. If you calculate, it's like a couple cups of expensive coffee for, for one lesson, so it's, it's very affordable. It's, it, it will be only for five to six week, uh, months. Thank you for answering our questions. When starting as a beginner with Mandarin characters, do you recommend learning the alphabet first or individual words, sentences? So, uh, I mean, by saying alphabet, you probably mean pinyin, right? So you need to learn pinyin first. You need to learn tones with pinyin. Then you need to learn 214 Chinese radicals. And then when learning words, because most Chinese words, they consist of a few characters. Uh, most of them consist of two characters. Some consist of three, four characters. Many of them consist of one character. But especially for those uh, words which consist of a few characters, you need to translate each and every character in a word to be uh, able to understand, to guess what uh, words that you don't know mean. So. For example, if you translate the, um, the word, I don't know, like 见面, for example, 见面, to meet somebody, right? 见 means to see, 面, it means face. See face, it means to meet somebody in Chinese, right? So uh, you need to translate each word to, to get a deeper sense, deeper understanding of the word, uh, to memorize it faster and to be able to guess other words that you don't know. Which do you think is more important to prioritize Korean vocabulary grammar? Uh, grammar, because vocabulary is a byproduct of learning any language. So vocabulary is very important still, but I would say the most important thing is the ability to create sentences, which means the ability to speak, right? So the ability to create sentences, recall sentences, uh, structure sentences is the most important ability in the language. Sen uh, words will come. Uh, the person who knows 2,000 words is not as cool as the person who knows 500 words, but is mastering in, like, in, in, uh, creatively crafting those words into different diverse sentences with different grammatical patterns. So grammar is the key to, learn, to mastering Korean. This is why I actually need to... Uh, so for Korean guys, like I said, victortalkingacademy.com slash masterclass. But the ultimate advice, even if you don't... Uh, like, don't enroll to any of my courses, the ultimate advice, get a, get a person who will coach you guys. Get a person who will teach you start taking class, start investing in yourself. So this is my message. Don't be stingy with your time and money. This is the most, because I see language learning, like I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm to use Duolingo. I was also like this, so I'm not judging. I spent like, I don't know, a few years and just like a few years were completely wasted. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. I will end this live stream here. It's been 40 minutes since I went live. And uh, I, I wish you the best with your learning. Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, German, Spanish, Russian, any language that you're learning. Um, and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Until next time.